Right, uh, I'll be deriving this uh, kinetic model again for S option and D option, but this time we're looking at a, a diatomic molecule, hydrogen 2. Um, it decomposes into two hydrogen atoms, and each of the two hydrogen atoms are bonded to the surface. So uh, the kinetics is a little bit different uh, from simple adsorption or desorption. So again, uh, at equilibrium, between adsorption and desorption, the reaction rate of adsorption is equal to the rate of desorption. So I'm going to just say R adsorption equals R desorption. Uh, later, I will just use the uh, subscript A and subscript D. Now let's look at the adsorption. Well, it's just, uh, it's very simple. It's H2 react with two uh, sites. Uh, I'm going to use um, M. And each M is one adsorption size. And over here, this M is the available size. There are 12 available sites, unoccupied sites here. So let's say this uh, has a reaction rate constant of K sub A. Again, A stands for adsorption. Uh, and uh, over here, I'm going to just use dot, dot, dot here. <coughs> uh, let's look at this option. This option is uh, two hydrogen bonded to M. So one, two, three, four. I have four of those in this picture. Over here. So actually, this dot, dot, dot is simply just two hydrogen atoms bonded to the surface sites. All right, and then we just plug in this uh, uh, adsorption reaction rate, desorption reaction rate. It's Ka times the concentration of pressure of H2. And uh, uh, for convenience, I'm just using the pressure of H2. Anyway, the pressure is equal to CRT. C is the concentration because PV equals NRT. And times uh, over here, this M is the available sites. So it's got to be n times 1 minus theta. Theta is the percentage of occupied sites. And this whole thing is squared. Okay. It's equal to kd times this guy squared. So it's n times theta squared. Again, n times theta in this case is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So and then we just uh, simply take the square root of both sides, Ka times the pressure times n times 1 minus theta equals Kd times n times theta. And we notice this n and this n cancel. Very good. And we have a nice equation for theta. Theta can be expressed as a function of p. So we go from here to here. We got uh, square root of Ka times p minus square root of Ka times p times theta is equal to Kd. Square root of Kd times theta. And theta is simply Square root of Ka times P, square root of Ka times P, plus Kd. And again, uh, if I give you the experimental data of uh, the values of theta versus P, uh, you have to take the reciprocal of both sides of this equation before you do data analysis.
maybe I should just use some square root for consistency. All right, so if you have experimental data of theta and p, you need to convert them to one over theta. That's your uh, vertical axis or y axis. And you need to convert p to one over the square root of p. That's your x axis or horizontal axis. And uh, I predict that you will see the intercept values one. And then over here, that's your slope. The slope is the square root of KB over KA. Uh, by convention, we define the equilibrium constant for adsorption slash desorption to be KA over KB. So this guy is actually the slope you get. And the slope again is the square root of KD over K. So it's the slope to the power of negative two. Done.